everybody, welcome back to Undertale. Uh, this is a different thing. Why is this different? Well, look in the corner. Whee! Finally found some glitching a little. What the heck? Oh well. Yeah. Found a software, a free software for Mac, that can record your screen and your face cam. So yay! Okay, shush. Yeah. What in the world is that? And there's Elvis. Anything over here? Nope. Okay, so yeah, we left off here. Here we go. All right, into the elevator. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, what the heck? Elevator losing power, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. EM tether stability loss, what? Altitude dropping, oh shoot. Am I going to the core, like literally the core of the earth? Sounds like it. Wait one second. Oh my gosh, look, I'm off the screen. There we go, that'll do. What happened? Am I dead? Oh my gosh, how did I survive that? What the heck? What is this? Can I take the elevator back up? Darn! Cause this is scary. Okay. Entry number one. What? That's all I'm gonna learn a bit. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I don't... I think this is Alpha, so I don't know. She's the royal scientist and such and this. It's... <laughs> I will create the power to free us all. Oh boy. I will unleash the power of the soul. What the heck? Is this one gonna turn on? This one's gonna turn on. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. You killed somebody. No. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. Mm. The souls of monsters. I hit my fingers. Owie. What's this? Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. Let me guess, is the next one going to be entry four? Did I miss something? I think I missed something. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I have extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power... DETERMINATION! Alright. Yeah, that was entry 5. Was this one 4? No, this is 3! Yeah, I definitely missed something. Alright, so nothing this way. Any hidden things on the wall? No, nothing. Ooh, the music kicked in. True Lab! Hey, 
It's a fake plant. Power room. Okay. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator. Lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you can read. This is good music. Yeah, I'm serious. Can't do anything to the door. Buy chips for 25 gold? I don't know, do I... There we go. I forgot my keys for a moment. Okay, yeah, I could take another thing. The vending machine dispensed some chisps. Chisps? Is that just a spelling error? No, they're actually called potato chisps. Potato chisps. Heals 13 HP. Regular old potato chisps. Well, am I gonna get, like, spicy ones which increase my attack power or something? Anything this way? Hello? Now, are you entry number four? Darn it! Where is entry four? Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon, they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Alphys, what are you doing? I get that they're about to die, but still, that's weird. Entry number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. Why are you not capitalizing? Oh my gosh! I almost did. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? These chairs. It's some kind of operating table. Table? Where's that stable? Table. It's sticky. Ew. It's sticky. It's some kind of operating table. It's sticky. Is this one any different? No, it's sticky. I don't like sticky stuff. You turned on the sink. You turned on the sink. You turned on the sink. What is that? What in the world are you? What are they doing? What even are these things? What? But your inventory is full. What in the world? Whoa! Ah, ah, ah. Okay, the lag from the video recorder is kind of helping me a little. But if I start playing Sonic games, then it's not gonna really be good. But nobody came. What the heck? Attack 20, defense 30. What the heck? Hmm. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Ew, use, 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 use. Ow! Yee! What happens if I sell? You take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. 
Um, join the fun. I think I'm good where I am. Thank you. Hey. No. I'm Memory heads? Is that what they're called? Why not? Just a moment, it's a real get together. Become one of us. Yee, what the heck? Okay, I was I was touching all the others, but then that one killed me. Don't it hurt me. Leave the astronaut food. Your HP is my Come join the What? 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 Yee! Okay, I joined two of them, but nothing happened. Do I have to refuse? I don't know. Hmm. What happens if I join them the second time? You'll be with us shortly. Still baffled by these things. I'm getting good at avoiding them. Come on, come on. Ben, hold still. What is he gonna do? Uh oh, I move. Seems like it doesn't care anymore. Perfect. Is that still weird? What the heck? What the heck? There's a red key lying in the sink. Yeah. You took it and put it on your keychain. What's over here? There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain dropped it. That's all you could do. Oh, I guess these notes are actually, um, uh, I don't know. Click. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. So did that do anything in particular? Oh, 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 look at that, look at that. Woohoo, I did it. I need to do that three more times. Three more battles, here we go. Let's go through this door. What entry number are you? Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of your bodies opened its eyes. You. It's an empty dog food bowl. And there seem to be five, six, nine beds. Seems like a comfy bed. You could probably climb into it if you were to the left of it. Yeah, just lie on it. I just say if there's nothing to lose. Okay, I probably should not have laid on the bed. Get off. What the? Oh, okay. It seemed to go away when I got... Maybe if I stay on it for long enough, it'll do something. Oh, it worked!
<laughs> my clapping worked. Oh, that was perfect. So are you gonna do something? Are you gonna do something? He's gonna touch me. That's what he's gonna do. Did his arm fall off? Oh! Oh, how nice of him. That was nice. Now what? Do I just wait here? Or is that just a small easter egg? I don't know. Okay, it's, it looks like I can get out. It's a bed. It's a bed. It's a fake plant. There's something under the sheets. Check it out. A key! It's a bed. 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 Alphys must have done a lot of injections. The clock is broken. Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. There was a question mark at the end. What was that mean? What's that? Oh, shoot. Yes. Okay, there we go. Ugh. That scared me. Golden flowers. Entry number seven. Okay, well, we're getting into the earlier entries now. We'll need a vessel to wield the monsters, wield the monster souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters, just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor a monster? Okay, still me. I have a feeling that the next mirror is going to show something else. Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control pieces. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. Oh, I knew something was gonna happen. What? In the world? You're sitting on my dialogue box, Mr. Comma. He looks a lot like the unpronounceable guy that I met in the, in the uh, neutral run. And his neck can come off of the rest of his body? You hum a familiar tune, but no one heard you. I saw the phrase, I'm not afraid of you, in there. I think it's actually just, like... Ah, the bees! Not the bees! Ah! I've never actually seen where that came from, I just know the quote. <laughs> yeah, I saw the phrase, I'm not afraid of you, in there. And that's, that's where, uh, that's where the unpronounceable man comes in. Ah, oh, Mr. Fine. You did something mysterious. Kama recognizes there is more to learn in this world. Every single final monster from the neutral one. Let's clean it, like wash your You wash your hands. Oh, nothing up. Please, what are you afraid of? What? Yee, they're following me. Hey, what the heck is that? What the heck are you doing?
You kneel and pray for safety. Kama remembers its conscience. Rem oh my gosh, it's headless. Have some more astronaut food. Don't pick on me, I'm not afraid of you. Oh. And please, thank you. What happens if I pick on it? Wait, can I spare it first before I pick on it? No, I cannot spare it. I think I need to pick on it. Maybe it's a matter of what, what monster is here? Because, um, mystifying it, humming to it, praying, and cleaning didn't do anything. So, and, and we can see nothing related to Washua, the final froggit, um, Whimsalot, and, uh, Shiren. Although there is the unpronounceable man there, so maybe picking on him will do something. But I really don't want to pick on him, I'm a nice man. Or, nice kid. You pick on Reaper Bird. Reaper Bird seems to remember something. So his name is Reaper Bird. Someone finally gets it, River River Courage? Oh, there is a bit of everyone in it. Oh, yeah, dodge the butterflies. Dodge the butterflies that I called bees earlier. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I called you bees. I'm sorry! Reaper Bird seems... I don't know what that word is. What? <laughs> Alrighty, let's go. Okay. Yes. There's a note on the ground. Cold. It's some kind of switch. There's a blue colored song. Oh, I need a blue key. And I have a yellow one. Jeez, that's, that's two random creature fights already. I don't even know what those creatures are called. And I don't think I want to know. They might appear in my dreams. I hope they don't appear in yours. Entry number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden. And I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Happy face. Entry number 16. No, 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 no. What happened? What happened? What happened? What the heck happened? I wanna know! There's a door. Oh, I can... I can travel very slowly, but then going down is at normal speed. What the heck is that? Oh, it's getting faster. Oh my gosh! It's an empty bathtub. That scared the crap out of me! Is it still there when I go back? No, it isn't good. Who are you? What are you? Might as well save. Okay, what kind of monster is it this time? Alright. Smells like sweet lemon. Yeah, apparently, that is a mix between Shiren and Molebug. A very creepy mix. And her name is Lemon Bread. Let's unhug it. You let Lemon Bread be. Lemon Bread's teeth shape. Welcome to my special what the heck. Oh! Oh shoot! 
Oh, I see. I'm supposed to find a safe place. Oh, wait. There's muscles in there. It has Aaron in it, too. You flexed your arm. Lemon bread's muscle shapes. Do you think I'm pretty? You flex your arm, nothing else happened. Okay, I'm good. Hum. You hung a familiar tune. Lemon bread seems to remember something. I felt this before. Yeah, Shiren! Why are you gonna do this to me? Oh, shoot. Wait. Could this be goodbye? Well, no, it's gonna be for one more. You're gonna have to wait one more turn, Lemon Bread. I'm eating some potato chips. Okay. But now the safe one's gone. Well, lemon bread was the safe one. Deep T, I think that's the termination. Determinate extraction machine. Status and active. Alrighty then. I heard a ding. It's too dark to see near the walls. Oh, wait, it's a maze. I'm going through some kind of maze. In some sort of cold rectangular object. Yeah. Hey, I found my way through at least. I think I did anyway. Oh, okay, here we are. There's a nut on the ground. You can't make it out. Curtain. Yeah. Click the green key fits perfectly into the slot. I need to figure out what this cold rectangular object is. Maybe if I find some kind of power switch or something? I wonder where this door leads. Ooh, yellow slot. Under sheets. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, I figured that out earlier with the cold thing. There are a bunch of VHSs. Seems like it's mostly cartoons of some kind. Anime? There are a bunch of anime? They seem to be alphabetized. Save for a few spray. Ones. The VHS player with a few tapes picked out behind it. They seem to be labeled in a specific order. Will you watch one? Well, let's watch you then. Psst. Glory, wake up. Hmm? What is it, dear? That sounds like Toriel and Asgore. What's going on? Er, and why do you have the video camera? Shush! I want to get your reaction. Hey, Gory, dearest. What is my favorite vegetable? Hmm. Carrots, right? No, no, no. My favorite vegetable is... Edamame. I, I don't know what that is. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. Oh, no, not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? One second. Okay, yeah, there's nothing there. Hmm, 
I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a Mamaranian. <laughs> okay, I get that one. Plus, fact, the, the annoying dog is a Pomeranian. Oh, 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 oh. You sure are excited to have this child. <laughs> they have a kid. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day, you could be... Famous mom Indian. Well, I ain't going to bed. Hey! Come on, Tori! That's one that one was funny. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you. Hey, good night, dear. Good night, honey. Uh oh, oh dear. Perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Darn it! Alright, let's watch tape two. Oh, uh, what's going on? I'm not ready for whatever this is. Uh, do your creepy face. Ah! <laughs> uh, oh, wait, 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 I, I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Oh, come on, quit tricking me. <laughs> Darn it! I really wanted to see who that was because I don't remember that sound. I just watched tape three. Howdy! Uh, smile for the camera. <laughs> this time I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in buttercups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made Mom really upset. Is this Toriel and Asgore's kid? I should have laughed it off like you did. Uh, Anyways, where are, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. Darn it. I wanted to learn more. Maybe I will. I... I, I don't like this idea. What? 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 No, no I, I'm not. Big, big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, no, I, I never doubt you. Never. But, but yeah, we'll, we'll be strong. We'll, we'll free everyone. Uh, I'll go get the flowers. Uh, what is going on? It's Toriel. Can you hear me? We want, we want you to wake up. It's Asgore. You have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. This is what Asgore says to me when I die. Psst, psst. Please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I... 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 No, I said, I said I never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? <laughs> well, that's all the tapes. I wish I could watch more and learn more. Did I read this already? Oh, here we go. Alright, there we go. This is entry four. Entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. 
I don't think he should. Yeah. That thing still creeps me out right there. See? Right there. Scary. Slow walking. What's this way? Oh boy. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not, not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Oh, so what are all these fans doing here? What's with this white dust? You don't think that's dead monsters, do you? Ah. There's a switch on the wall. Press it. Pretty much the only thing I can do. Oh, shoot! That was monster dust. I mean, some kind of monster dust, but anyway. It looks like a dog. Get away from me, please. Please! Why do you have five legs? And what's up with your face? I'm only curious, I'm not trying to criticize you. Ah, get me away from here. Oh shoot, I ran into it. It's the amalg amalgamate. You know, it looks like you have actually other things in your in your legs. What are those? Oh, is this a greater dog amalgamate thing? I don't know. Do the exist. You call the amalgamate. Oh, it looks like it's, it's, it's panting. It bounds towards you, flecking a strange liquid from an orifice. Okay, that's just freaky. Like what in the world? Amalgamate is hovering close. Looking for affection. Well, in that case, I'll pet it. You pet the amalgamate. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. The music's going fast. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Z z z. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. I thought I was gonna say it wake up. Wait. Whoa. It's doing exactly what what the dialogue is saying. This isn't what the greater dog and the, and the, and the, and the, the, the original greater dog did. Magami is striking the wall with its claws. Can I play with it? You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The Agamate brings it back to you. Proudly? You repeat this process a few times. Now Magami is very tired. It leans its dripping, um, amorphous body on you. <coughs> Malcomate is twitching affectionately. I just noticed where the where the uh, rocket fuel is actually coming out. Is he's, this dog is a butt rocket? <laughs> All right, pet it. You pet the amalgamate. It starts to generate a stage one happiness crawl. <clears throat> ah shoot! And I'm beginning to think that um that I'm not actually lagging. It's just I'm a little scared. Amalgamates, uh, convulsions intensify.
Amalgamate seems too tired to play. Oh, I need to beckon it. Yeet! No, 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 don't bucket. Don't bucket. Butt rocket. The Amalgamate feelers rotate quickly. Nothing else happens. Still don't get what this is. You pet decisively. The amalgamate seems to be satisfied by all this. So apparently there were things in his legs. Endogony is content. You won! That was weird. That was really, really weird. Maybe that button actually did something in the other world, so I can find what find out what that cold thing is and get the blue key out of it. It seems it seems to contain samples of some kind. Hang on. Now I can read all this. Entry number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. Wait. Are those amalgamate things actually what these test subjects were used to be? Alphys, what the heck? Entry number 20. Asbor left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore! This fridge seems to be vibrating. No, it doesn't. Entry number 21. Yes, it does! Oh, shh. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. What is- what even is in this thing? It's a refrigerator. It's empty. But it is vibrating! It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain, contain samples of some kind. Refrigerator. It's empty. No, it's not a refrigerator! You look like Predator. Or Alien. I don't know which one it is. It's so cold. Yeah, I've never watched Alien vs. Predator, or either of the movies, for, for that matter. It looked like some kind of thing. I don't know. I'm just gonna... It's so cold. You look like a snow drake. I just noticed something. The comedian dad. Snowdrake's father. He said his mother passed away. But this is actually what happened to her. It looks like Snowdrake's uh it looks like it's Snowdrake's mother. I don't know. Amalgamate. I can heckle, joke, and laugh. Just like I can with a normal Snowdrake. Oh, uh, let's do it. He told a bad pun about snow. Her but yeah, see her. Her. Snowdrake's mother. Her expression starts to shift. Uh huh. I remember. You told about ice pun with her about snow. Her expression changes more. <laughs> Thank you. Wait a minute. This this song. 
This is the Snowden song. Or the Snowden town. Yeah, thing. Hear it? We told her that she can she's completely calmed down. Oh man. Ah! There we go. Fluky! Woohoo! That's the final key. Now I need to go to the lock. Ooh, what's this? Seems like another elevator has lost its power. But there's a thing here. Oh wait, that was the power room. <laughs> Seems to be turned off. Seems to be turned off. What's going on? Oh boy, what is this? What are you? It seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on? It's the only thing I can do. There's a heart in the middle of it. The amalgamates are coming for me. Get away from me. I can't move this time. Hey! Stop! Which uh. Hey! Stop! Got you guys some food, okay? Oh. Alright then. Sorry about that. They get kinda sassy when they don't get fed on time. I don't think they smelled the potato chips you had, and... Anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This is probably just a big inconvenience for you. This is for you. But I appreciate that you came back, came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of, of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid. Is this too high for a uh, for Alpha's voice? I can't remember. Because this sounds like Flowey's voice. To tell her the truth, that I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I, I I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called the Termination. Why do I keep making that noise? I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what phys physicality they had. Physical, yeah, physicality. <laughs> physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into, into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell them anyone about it. I love you, love No matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now, I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's, it's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But I don't, but, but knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be such a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Because I really want to see my mama.
In all seriousness, though, that is creepy. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet, because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder... What happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Is that where Flowey came from? Entry number 18. The flower's gone. The flower's gone. What happened to the flower? Did it go away? I don't know. Okay, I went slow. That's not a good sign. It's a voice you have never heard before. Yeah, I have not heard this voice before. Are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Yes? See you soon. Whose voice is this? I can't move around. Flowey? Well, that'll just about do it for this video. That went longer than expected, honestly. <laughs> yeah, if you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video.